This is a Mercury 2002 two stroke 90 horsepower ELPTO. Uh, it's injected. I'm looking for some help here. Saw some other videos online. People looking for help, and I've run out of mechanics, I guess, for now. So I'm seeing if the online community can help me solve my uh, mystery here. I'm going to run through what started the whole problem and then what I've done or what the other mechanic has done to fix this problem. I try to fix the problem and see where we're at. But the sh short end of the story is the motor turns, but it won't start. The last mechanic I had here said there was no spark, but I've replaced some things. But let me run through that. So the first things first, what happened is one of the magnets came loose on the flywheel, right? And when it broke apart on this stuff here, you know, it, it as it was spinning, because I was out in the water when it happened, by the time I got back, the uh, the stator had been, uh, had been cut up cut up a little bit you know a little bit damaged but it was still running it got me in you know it and it didn't run that long on it, it you know maybe 10 minutes to get in so I know I probably shouldn't have but that is what it is so uh, this and this were damaged and I think it was started also by the fly the the, the, the this flywheel part on the starter was grinded down and I think the teeth weren't matching up correctly, maybe. Um, these teeth were worn down. I don't know. There were some issues here on this whole thing. So that happened, right? The magnets came off, corrected that. So replace the flywheel, replace the starter. So I had a mechanic here. He replaced the flywheel and the starter both. The, 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 they're both OEM, Mercury, the, the stator's brand new. Mercury OEM put that on there uh, and we put a new starter on here too so there's new starter on the new flywheel new stator uh, went to go start it up and it would crank but it wouldn't kick over and start so mechanic did some inspecting and he concluded that mechanic said that it was the the stator that was wrong, broken or wrong, even though it was a brand new one. But the twist to that story is that mechanic walked off and never called me back, just left. So I had to call another mechanic. So I got another mechanic out here a few weeks later. He came over, he started doing some tests and everything. He said the stator was fine, but there was no spark. And the no spark was being caused because of the ignition coils uh, being toasted and I need new ignition coils. So he said, get new ignition coils and you'll be good to go. So guess what? Got three new ignition coils. These are CDIs. I know not, not OEM, but they're brand new. CDI is pretty reliable. Um, oh, and I, the, the original mechanic also put on a new, uh, voltage rectifier, brand new OEM, hooked all that stuff up. So New, new stator, new flywheel, new voltage rectifier, new ignition coils with new wires, new spark plugs, uh, all the way across. We checked the, you know, just for kicks, everything was checked down here and replaced and, and, and cleaned up. Uh, I checked my battery coils uh, down here, cleaned those up. They were a little bit dirty, but I cleaned up the battery coils that are underneath there. I also changed the uh, hoses and put a new pump ball in there. And after all that's done, it still doesn't start. It spins, but it won't kick over. Now, the only thing I haven't replaced, or a couple things I haven't replaced, is I haven't replaced this solenoid here. Somebody told me though, that the solenoid wouldn't have anything to do with it not actually starting. I think it wouldn't turn at all if this was bad, but I haven't replaced this yet. Let me know. Should I replace that? I do get, when I do a voltage test, I get 12 volts out of this part of it. So coming from the battery, I get 12 volts. When it goes to this part on the starter, it's not 12 volts, it's like 11. It's about 11, 11.1. So it's not quite 12. Does that mean 
should it be a full 12 just like here and therefore should it, maybe this cable has gone bad now the other sort of interesting thing is these cables here that connect out of the stator the old ones you can see they're a little bit burnt right I did pull these open and clean them out um, and and reconnected them every I've checked all these connections they're all wired uh, so that they're they're all clean they're tight I've checked all the fuses every fuse throughout the entire system all checks out to be good I did not check these two things down here though I don't even know what those are for can those blow and would those affect the motor spinning but not actually starting maybe let me know um, what else that's the short end of the story let me know what your thoughts are and what I should look at next or try to test or replace but it's not kicking over it's just spinning just as a side note I know this is the uh, the heat sensor in here I, my my heat uh, meter up at the console doesn't work and also the tack doesn't work um, so that's another mystery but short end is I need to get it started in order to even talk about the other stuff it ran fine before uh, there was no problems ran smooth sounded great overall generally looks clean uh, what else do I need to look at let me know